Shalom. Welcome back to the broadcast. I'm Sean, your host. Website is www.scriptureandprophecy.com. That's where you go to find the archives. That's where you go to find many devotionals. That's where you go to find a lot of things. So please consider visiting the website. Again, www.scriptureandprophecy.com. Well, today we are looking at this week's Torah portion for the week. And I'm going to read the portion summary for you from TorahPortions.org. The portion is called Va Et Hanan. So let's read the summary here. The 45th reading from the Torah and the second reading from the book of Deuteronomy is named Va'ech Anan, which means, and I besought. And the title comes from the first verse of the reading, which says, I also pleaded with the Lord at that time. The portion completes the historical prologue of the Deuteronomy covenant document and begins a rehearsal of the stipulations. Part of the rehearsal is a repetition of the Ten Commandments and the famous first passage of the Shema, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 through 9. So let's go ahead and read 4 through 9 real quick. I'm going to read the King James Version because we're going to do the Hallelujah Scriptures as our uh, version for the study this morning. Uh, but here's the famous verse that uh, it's referring to, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 through 9. Here's what it says. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto the children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house, and on thy gates. So there's the famous chapter, or famous verses that it's referring to. The outline here of what we're getting ready to read. So we're going to see Moses viewing Canaan from Pishgah. Moses commands obedience. Cities of refuge east of the Jordan transitions to the second address, the Ten Commandments. Moses, the mediator of God's will. The Great Commandment, which we just read. Caution against disobedience. And chapter 7 talks about a chosen people. So, we're reading chapter 3, beginning with verse 23, through chapter 7, verse 11. That's what's on the agenda for this morning. A lot to get through, so let's not delay any longer. I'm going to start uh, with verse 23. Uh, the book of Deuteronomy, I'm going to read from the Hallelujah Scriptures. Let us begin. And I pleaded with Yehovah at that time, saying, O Adonai, Yehovah, you have begun to show your servant your greatness and your strong hand, who is a mighty one in the Shemayim that is to say heaven, or on earth who does according to your works and according to your might. I pray, let me pass over and see the good land beyond the Yarden, this good hill country in Lebanon. But Yehovah was enraged with me, for your sake it would not listen to me. And Yehovah said to me, Enough of that. Speak no more to me about this matter. Go up to the top of Pishgah, and lift up your eyes westward and northward and southward and eastward, and look with your eyes, for you do not pass over this Yarden. But command Yahushua, that is to say Joshua, and strengthen him and make him brave, for he shall pass over before this people, and cause them to inherit the land which you see. And we dwelt in the valley opposite Beth Peor. And now, O Yisrael, listen to the laws of the right rulings which I am teaching you to do, so that you live and shall go and possess the land which Yahweh Elohim of your fathers is giving you. Do not add to the word which I command you, and do not take away from it, so as to guard the commands of Yahweh your Elohim which I am commanding you. Your eyes have seen what Yahweh did 
at Baal Peor. For Yehovah, your Elohim, has destroyed from your midst all the men who followed Baal Peor. But you, who are clinging to Yehovah, your Elohim, are alive today, every one of you. See, I have taught you laws and right rulings, as Yehovah, my Elohim, commanded me, to do thus in the land which you go to possess. And you shall guard and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding before the eyes of the peoples who hear all these laws. And they shall say, Only a wise and understanding people is this great nation. For what great nation is there which has Elohim so near to it, as Jehovah our Elohim is to us whenever we call on him? And what great nation is there that has such laws and righteous right rulings like all this Torah which I put before you this day? Only guard yourself and guard your high, that is to say life, diligently. Lest you forget the words your eyes have seen, and lest they turn aside from your heart all the days of your life, and you shall make them known to your children and your grandchildren. The day when you stood before Yehovah your Elohim in Horeb, Yehovah said to me, Assemble the people to me, and I make them hear my words so that they learn to revere me all the days they live on the earth and teach their children. And you came near and you stood at the foot of the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire to the heat of the Shemayim, darkness and cloud, dense cloud. And Yehovah spoke to you out of the mists of the fire. You heard a voice of words but saw no form. You only heard a voice. And he had made known to you his covenant, which he commands you to do, the ten words, and he wrote them on the two tablets of stone. And Yehovah commanded me at that time to teach you laws and right rulings, for you do them in the land which you pass over to possess. Therefore, diligently guard for yourselves, for you saw no form when Yehovah spoke to you at Horab, out of the mist of the fire lest you should do corruptly, and shall make for yourselves a carved image in the form of any figure, and the likeness of male or female, and the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, and in the likeness of any winged bird that flies in the Shemayim, the likeness of any creature that creeps on the ground, or the likeness of any fish that is in the water under the earth, unless you lift up your eyes to the Shemayim, and shall see the sun, and the moon, and the stars, and all the hosts of the Shemayim, and you be drawn away into bowing down to them and serving them, which Yahweh your Elohim has allotted to all the peoples under the Shemayim. But Yahweh has taken you and brought you out of the iron furnace, out of Mitzrayim, that is to say Egypt, to be his people and in inheritance as is it is today. And Yahweh was enraged with me because of your words and swore that I would not pass over the Yarden and that I would not enter the good land which Yahweh your Elohim is giving you as an inheritance. For I am to die in this land, and I am not passing over the Yarden, but you are passing over, and shall possess the good land. Guard yourselves, lest you forget the covenant of Yahweh your Elohim, which he made with you, and shall make for yourselves a carved image in any likeness Yahweh your Elohim has commanded you. For Yehovah, your Elohim, is a consuming fire, a jealous El. When you bring forth children and grandchildren, and shall grow old in the land, and shall do corruptly, and make a carved image in any likeness, and shall do what is evil in the eyes of Yehovah, your Elohim, to provoke him, I shall call the Shemayim and the earth to witness against you on that day, that you soon completely perish from the land which you possess over the yard and to possess. You do not prolong your days in it, but are completely destroyed. And Yehovah shall scatter you among the peoples, and you shall be left few in number among the Gentiles where Yehovah drives you. And there you shall serve mighty ones, the work of men's hands, wood, and stone, which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. But from there you shall seek Yehovah your Elohim and shall find, and when you search for him with all your heart and with all your being, 
in your distress when all these words shall come upon you in the latter days. Then you shall return to Yehovah your Elohim and shall obey his voice. For Yehovah your Elohim is a compassionate El. He does not forsake you nor destroy you nor forget the covenant of your fathers which he swore to them. For ask now the days that are past which were before you since the day that Elohim created man on earth. And ask from the end of the Shemayim to the other end of the Shemayim whether there has been a word as great as this or has been heard like it. Has a people heard the voice of Elohim speaking out of the midst of the fire as you have heard and live? Or has Elohim tried to go on and take for himself a nation from the midst of the nations by trials and by signs and by wonders and by battle and by a strong hand and an outreached arm and by great fearsome deeds according to all that Yehovah your Elohim did for you in Mitzrayim before your eyes? You have been shown it to know that Yehovah himself is Elohim. There is no one besides him. From the Shemayim he let you hear his voice to instruct you, and on earth he showed you his great fire, and you heard his words out of the midst of the fire. And because he loved your fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them, and brought you out of Mitzrayim, with his presence and with his great power, to drive out from before you nations greater and stronger than you, to bring you in, to give you their land as an inheritance, as it is today. And you shall know today, and shall recall to your heart that Yehovah himself is Elohim, in the Shemayim above and on the earth beneath. There is none else. And you shall guard his laws and his commands which I command you today, so that it is well with you and with your children after you, and so that you prolong your days on the land which Yehovah your Elohim is giving you for all time. Then Moshe separated three cities beyond the Yarden, towards the rising sun. For him who killed someone to flee there, he who kills his neighbor unintentionally without having hated him in the time past might flee to one of these cities and live. Betzer in the wilderness and the level land from the Reubenites and Ramoth in Gilead. For the Gadites and the Golan and the Bashan and the Mishanites. And this is the Torah which Moshe put before the children of Israel. These are the witnesses and the laws and the right rulings which Moshe spoke to the children of Israel after they came out of Mitzrayim, that is to say Egypt, beyond the Yarden, in the valley opposite of Baeth Peor, in the land of Shechan, sovereign of the Amorites who dwelt at Heshbron. For Moshe and the children of Israel had spitten after they came out of Mitzrayim. And he took possession of the land and of the land of Og, sovereign of Bashan, two sovereigns of the Amorites, who were beyond the Yarden, toward the rising of the sun, from Eor, which is on the bank of the Wadi Arnon, even to Mount Sion, which is Hermon, and all the desert plain beyond the Yarden, as far as the sea of the Arabia, below the slopes of Pishkah. And Moshe called all Yisrael and said to them, Hear, O Yisrael, the laws and right rulings which I speak in your hearing today. And you shall learn them and guard to do them. Yehovah your Elohim made a covenant with us in Horeb. Yehovah did not make this covenant with our fathers, but with us those who are here today, all of us who are alive. Yahweh spoke with you face to face on the mountain from the midst of the fire. And I stood between Yahweh and you at that time to declare to the word of Yahweh, for you were afraid because of the fire, and you did not go up on the mountain saying, I am Yahweh your Elohim who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim, out of the house of bondage. You have no other mighty one against my face. You do not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of which is in the Shemayim above, or which is in the earth beneath, or which is in the waters under the, under the earth. You do not bow down to them, nor serve them, for I, Yehovah, your Elohim, is a jealous El, 
visiting the wickedness of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing kindness to thousands and to those who love me and guard my commandments. You do not bring the name of Yehovah your Elohim to naught, for Yehovah does not leave him unpunished who brings his name to naught. Guard the Shabbat day to Kodesh it, as Yehovah your Elohim commanded you. Six days you labor and shall do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath of Yehovah your Elohim. You do not do any work, you nor your son nor your daughter, nor your male servant nor your female servant, nor your ox nor your donkey, nor any of your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates, so that your male servant and your female servant rest as you do. And you shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Mitzrayim, and that Yehovah your Elohim brought you out from there by a strong hand and by an outreached arm. Therefore, Yehovah your Elohim, Hello, Yehovah your Elohim commanded you to perform the Shabbat day. Respect your father and your mother. As Yehovah your Elohim has commanded you so that your days are prolonged and so that it is well with you on this land which Yehovah your Elohim is giving you. Do not murder. You do not commit adultery. You do not steal. You do not bear false witness against your neighbor. You do not covet your neighbor's wife, nor do you desire your neighbor's house, his field, nor his male servant, nor his female servant, his ox, or his donkey, or whatever belongs to your neighbor. These words Jehovah spoke to all of your assembly, in the mount, from the mist to the fire of the cloud, and of the dense cloud with a loud voice. And he added no more. And he wrote them on two tablets of stone, and gave them to me. And it came to be, when you heard the voice from the midst of the darkness while the mountain was burning with fire that you came near to me all the heads of your tribes and your elders and said see Yehovah our Elohim has shown us his esteem and his greatness and we have heard his voice from the midst of the fire today we have seen that Elohim speaks with man and he lives and now why should we die for this great fire is consuming us if we hear the voice of Yehovah or Elohim any more, then we shall die. For who is there of all flesh who has heard the voice of the living Elohim speaking from the midst of the fire? We have and lived. And you go near and you hear all that Yehovah your Elohim says, and speak to us all that Yehovah or Elohim says to you, and we shall hear and do it. And Yehovah heard the voice of your words when you spoke to me, and Yehovah said to me, I have heard the voice of the words of this people, which they have spoken to you. They have done well in all that they have spoken. Oh, that they had such a heart in them to revere me and to guard all my commands always, so that it might be well with them and with their children forever. Go, say to them, return to your tents, but you stand here by me and let me speak to you all the commands and the laws and the right rulings which you are to teach them. And they shall do them in the land which I am giving them to possess. And you shall guard to do as Jehovah your Elohim has commanded you. Do not turn aside to the right or to the left. Walk in all the way which Jehovah your Elohim has commanded you so that you live and be well with you. And you shall prolong your days in the land which you possess. And this is the command, the laws and right rulings which Yehovah your Elohim has commanded, to teach you to do in the land which you possess, which you are passing over to possess, so that you revere Yehovah your Elohim, to guard all of his laws and his commands, which I commanded you, you and your sons and your grandsons and all the days of your life, and that your days be prolonged. And you shall hear, O Yisrael, and shall guard to do, that it might be well with you, and that you increase greatly as Yehovah your Elohim of your fathers has spoken to you, a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Yisrael, Yehovah your Elohim, Yehovah is one. And you shall love Yehovah your Elohim with all your heart, 
and with all your being, and with all your might. And these words which I am commanding you today shall be in your heart, and you shall impress them upon your children, and shall speak of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up, and you shall bind them as a sign on your hand. And they shall be as a frontless between your eyes, and you shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. And it shall be, when Yehovah your Elohim brings you into the land, of which he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Yitzhak, and to Jacob, to give you great and good cities which you did not build, and houses filled with all kinds of good which you did not fill, and wells dug which you did not dig, vineyards and olive trees which you did not plant, and you shall eat and be satisfied. Be on guard, lest you forget Yehovah, who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim from the house of bondage. Revere Yehovah your Elohim, and serve him, and swear by his name. Do not go after other mighty ones, the mighty ones of the peoples who are all around you. For Yehovah your Elohim is a jealous El in your midst. Lest the displeasure of Yehovah your Elohim burn against you, then he shall destroy you from the face of the earth. Do not try Yehovah your Elohim as you tried him in Massah. Diligently guard the commands of Yehovah your Elohim and his witness and his laws which he has commanded you. And you shall do what is right and good in the eyes of Yehovah that it might be well with you. And you shall go in and possess the good land of which Yehovah swore to your fathers to drive out all your enemies from before you as Yehovah has spoken. When your son asks you in time to come, saying, What is the meaning of the witness of the laws and the right rulings which Yahweh your Elohim has commanded you? Then you shall say to your son, We were slaves of Pharaoh in Mitzrayim, and Yahweh brought us out of Mitzrayim with a strong hand. And Yahweh sent signs and wonders and great grievous upon Mitzrayim, upon Pharaoh, and upon all his household before our eyes. And he brought us out from there to bring us in, to give us the land which we he swore to our fathers. And Yahweh commanded us to do all these laws, to revere Yahweh our Elohim, for our good always, to keep us alive as it is today. And it is righteousness for us when we guard to do all this commanded before Yahweh our Elohim as he has commanded us. When Yahweh your Elohim brings you into the land, which you go to possess, he shall also clear away many nations before you, the Hittites and the Girgashites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Pezerites and the Hivites and the Yebuzites, seven nations greater and mightier than you. And when Yahweh your Elohim gives them over to you, you shall smite them and put them under the ban completely. Make no covenant with them and show them no favor. And do not intermarry with them. You do not give your daughter to his son, and you do not take his daughters for your son. For he turns your sons away from following me to serve other mighty ones. Then the displeasure of Yehovah shall burn against you and promptly destroy you. But this is what you do to them. Break down their altars and destroy their pillars and cut down their asherim and burn their carved images with fire. For you are a Kodesh people to Yehovah your Elohim. Yehovah your Elohim has chosen you to be a people for himself, a treasured possession above all the peoples on the face of the earth. Yehovah did not place his love on you, nor choose you because you were more numerous than any other people. For you were the least of all people. But because of Yehovah loving you, and because of him guarding the oath which he swore to your fathers, Yehovah has brought you out with a strong hand and redeemed you from the house of bondage, from the hand of Pharaoh's sovereign of Mitzrayim. And you shall know that Yehovah your Elohim, he is Elohim, the trustworthy El, guarding covenant and kindness for a thousand generations with those who love him and those who guard his commands. But repaying those who hate him to their face to destroy them, he does not delay with him who hates him, he repays him to his face, and you shall guard the command, and the laws, and the right rulings, which I commanded you today, to do them. 
And that is the end of our tour portion for this week. I pray in the powerful name of Jesus that you have been blessed this morning. Lots of words from Moses about guarding the commands of God and about prolonging your life by doing so. And just this idea that by when you guard the commands of God and you and you love God that he will protect, provide and uh, prolong your life. And so hopefully you've been blessed by all this this morning. That's all I have for you. Peace and grace be with all of you and until the next time. God bless.